maintain user master user id mapping so what you need to do in this step is that in case in your organizations users have different user ids uh, in diff you know various systems uh, meaning let's say user has a use one particular user id in sap and then another user id same user has a different user id in uh, Active Directory and a different user ID in a people for people's of system or any other system, right? That you have integrated with uh, uh, GRC, okay? Then you can in this step basically you maintain the master user user ID mapping for all those different user IDs of for the same user. So let's read the documentation, and it says you know in this you designate a backend system as your master user id system and then can maintain the mappings of the other backend systems to the master user id system okay so a company's system landscape may include multiple backend systems with a different user id all right so what it say what it says is basically you know active, active directory a user could have one uh, user id start in Active Directory with a certain naming pattern, the same user may have a user ID in SAP system with a different naming pattern. Okay, even though the person is the same, the user IDs that he is using are different. So you, you are using this step to map the master user ID with those uh, systems. In, okay, so for example, one backend system may have employee number as a user ID, and the other backend system may have the last name as the user ID. So you can use this customizing activity to designate one system as the main or master user ID system. Okay, so for example, if you have, click on this, right? You click on connector, right? And then you can basically, so let's say you want to have your, uh, okay, so let's say, give a user ID here for example okay so you pick the user ID from your sales system and then say which is the master ID system right uh, where is your master ID so you can map you can search depending on the connectors that you're using you can always say this is my um, master user id okay so we are not completing this step because we have only one system here so you get the same list of users but uh, you can basically do the differences of user ids that you have you can map that to a, a master user id okay so that is what this step is about. So once these steps are done, what we have done so far is your uh, general uh, GRC configuration that you need for uh, you know the various modules within access control like EAM, ERM, and uh, BRM and ERA. Okay. Now next what we'll do once once you start implementing and working on this individual uh, applications uh, or modules if okay so like uh, ARA then you would need to go and configure the required uh, uh, steps for those modules so for example if you want to configure uh, if you want to implement BRM then you want to you'll have to go through some of the steps some of the steps are optional and some of them would be mandatory so you do those uh, so for example specify naming convention for your roles right this is a good step it's not a mandatory step but you can specify you know what is your naming convention for a composite role or single role or derived role whatever okay so you need to you can use this option so based on what mod what applications you are implementing from this point on you will have to go and um, configure those uh, you know, applications. So for example, for ERM, 
you can specify that you know request types okay and you define the employee types uh, the user defaults on provision settings okay so these are all uh, uh, application specific uh, uh, configuration what we have done now so far is the general configuration that are uh, cross application cross module for access control 